win now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Godan. So, a lot's been happening these last few days. Uh, as you can hear in my voice, not feeling too hot. So, I'm a little bit behind on what I wanted to share. But there is something that I do want to talk about. It. Let's take a look. So, the events are coming at us hot and heavy. And we're wondering why. Why? Well, there was a, uh, a little bit of an issue with the release um, of the update for those on iOS. So, to make it fair, this event came. Another fusion event. Many did not partake in this event because they didn't have food or the Titans left over. It was a filler. As we see, there's a lot more filler events as the ones that are going on right now. Then, of course, the choice is yours. You can get with this or you can get with that. So, as we know, we had a choice as to what our filler events are going to be. Right now, we have the Construction Frenzy. You can see it in-game yourself. Not a bad event if you're growing. If you're not growing, um, it's not an event for you at all. It's just a flash screen. But the Horde has arrived. Yes, the Theaters of War Death arrives. Very cool. Uh, opportunity to get a whole bunch of good stuff. These are what you really need. You need to get these Calvarax Relics. If you can get them and level them up, you'll be looking really good. I'm going for nothing on this particular event. I've got all the Calvarax Relics. Would like to get a second set if possible. But rather, I'd prefer getting some event boosters. But hard to see them. So it's the gates to the underworld. Still Spy did his recap of this event coming up. Betrayal. This is the next event. Nothing new. The Titans are unchanged. It's just another opportunity to get them if you don't have them. And another opportunity to get the, uh, to get the relics. But in the event after that, we'll have the chance to get the elemental grasp. As we know, the void element will be unlocked. And in full force. Some players already have the option to sort their relics. I don't have this option quite yet. Hopefully in a day or two, I'll have it as well and maybe you. But very cool. So the rollout of the update 1.32 is happening. I did want to share this thought before we went into our player showcase for today. This is from one of the players in a line chat. It says the devs and support people are not experts to motivate us. No, they're not. I'm not motivated to entertain others in war as well. This is the key point. I'm trying to see the game the way it must be. As a hobby. So lately I'm only playing when I don't have nothing else more important or interesting to do. But I always try to see by the optimistic way. And at least now my garden is more beautiful and I have more time with my friends and girlfriend. I just reduced the game to its deserved place. Two days of event. And that's all. The game doesn't deserve more of my precious time until they fix all the annoying and unfair things. This is my personal protest. I thank you for this comment. I thought it was really good. And I think this echoes the sentiment of many players. Putting the game in its proper place and staying balanced. The game is fun. It'd be more fun if they fixed a lot of things. So let's see how this rollout comes into play and hopefully they, the developers can get a lot more fixed and make the game more enjoyable but now for a real treat let's take a look at this player showcase well now today's player showcase is from toaster treat you may recognize this as spawn but it's toaster trees action that we're going to see so settle back relax and get ready for it here it comes well now what we have here is almoran our showcase is going to be about him. He's available in the next Betrayal event. And he may have ties with the Conquest coming up. So what's important about Amaran and what can he do? Well, I got to say, he may not look impressive here. And this is the old image of Amaran. The 1.32 update shows our Titans and Relics in a different format. But that doesn't matter. Almoran is, and Almoran was, and he will be. So take a look at him in battle. So here we go. 
We're going to watch Omaran during the conquest on the last level, land number 10. Going with all grenadiers and the Omega grenadiers to summon and 17 skeleton spells. Now the key about Omaran is he buffs the, um, the grenadiers and the Omega grenadiers. But the skeletons, let's see what the skeletons can do. Now that they're going to be the new void troops or causing the void element damage, they're going to be pivotal in a lot of gameplay. So during this current Theories of War, if you do get Calvarax relics, skeleton relics, it'd be a good idea to start leveling those relics up. Now he summons or drops the skeleton race spells right on any uh, spell drops so he can use them right, right away. Now Almoran himself is not the big deal. He may go down in this battle. Uh, remember, it's time, so we got a long ways to go. But as the waves of troops come, let's see how the skeletons can handle this. The Grenadiers do a great job as well. Don't get me wrong. But I like the additional buffer troops. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how this plays out. So there's a Goliath coming out. So far, so well. Uh, nothing's by the Grenadiers. Let's see how these skeletons do on this uh, Goliath. Two skellies. No Grenadier damage. Looks like they're going to take them out pretty easy. Now imagine that being Void damage. It may have gone down even sooner. Well, this is one excellent reason for having Calvarax. Excuse me, Almoran. Yeah, we know what we're dealing with. But the Calvarax Relics, because they boost the damage, they boost the health, they boost the critical of all the skeletons that are raised. So excellent, excellent uh, Titan to have. And we must consider he is a summoning Titan with the additional Omega Troops. But the buff to the uh, raised dead skeletons. Let's take a look at another battle. And obviously he is going to win this battle. Well now in this battle, it's going against the land. We see the Titans going up against the uh, Hades. We're looking at what, 35 plus million uh, defensive strength. How was Almorad, his Grenadiers, and the Skeletons going to handle this? Now all this footage is from prior to the Void Element being released. So this is when Skeletons still did physical damage. So let's take a look. Everything's set against all level 25 troops. It looks like it's going to go pretty good. Wow, those Omega troops went down quickly. Now he's releasing the skeletons. I think he had 17 spells. I didn't look. But it looks like it's going to be short order. Um, Hades Grenadiers just aren't going to do it. I don't know if he had any cats. If he did, they're just not going to do it as well. Skeletons go great against Panthers. But this battle is quick and, quick and easy. Just about over. Amaran goes down. It's not him. It's the troops that he buffs that matter. And the most important troops right here, right now, are the Skeletons. So remember to always consider what you can do with your buffed troops. Because even though it's not the Titans, it's the troops that matter. Well, now get ready for it. It's coming. It'll be here soon. So as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun, and take care.